At this point, we all know that we should be using a VPN basically any time we're online. That's just status quo these days. The thing is, there are so many VPNs out there, and they all offer something different. Different prices, different logging policy, different features, but that's not always necessarily a bad thing. We need things to be different for the sake of innovation. Anyway, I digress. Today, we're gonna take a look at a VPN that you're in control of. Today, we're gonna take a look at a self-hostable VPN called Amnesia. Now, as a disclaimer, Amnesia is sponsoring this video, but they don't get any say over anything I say in this video, and they don't get to see this video before you do. So everything in this video is my opinion, my experience, and I wanna share that with you. So Amnesia VPN is a free and open source VPN service that prioritizes privacy and security. This means no hidden costs and you can actually peek under the hood to see how everything works. You can check out Amnesia's website and GitHub via the links in the video description. So what's cool about this is that Amnesia lets you become your own VPN provider. With their self-hosting option, you can set up your own private VPN server in just a few minutes with very, very little effort. And of course, this gives you total control over your data and your security. So Amnesia is packed with clever tech to keep you hidden online. They've got a whole arsenal of protocols like ShadowSox, OpenVPN over Cloak, and X-Ray Reality. And these are specifically designed to make your VPN traffic blend in with regular internet traffic, making it super tough for anyone to block or track you. And because Amnesia doesn't require any registration and doesn't keep any logs of what you do online, your privacy is truly protected. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to set up an Amnesia VPN server on a third-party VPS provider. Now, on Amnesia's website, they show third-party services like AWS, Just Host, DigitalOcean, and a few others as options where you can host your VPN, but those are just examples. I'm going to be deploying Amnesia on a different host called RackNerd. Now, there are a couple of reasons for me choosing RackNerd. First, they're just a well-known VPS provider. Second, they provided me with a free VPS to make videos on when I want or need to use one. And third, and just as important in my opinion, they're having their 1111 sale, which means you can get their one gig KVM VPS for $11.11 .11 for an entire year. I actually bought one of these for myself before they set me up with a free account. So take that for what it is. Now they've obviously got other options in their 11.11 sale, but we're just going to use the one gig setup for our VPN server. And if you want more details about Ragnar's 11.11 sale, be sure to check out the video description for more information and some affiliate links. Now to get started, uh, you're going to need a, a server to deploy on. And again, I'm going to use RackNerd, but I'm gonna use Ubuntu 22.04. Once we have our VPS ready to go, we're going to need to download the Amnesia VPN client, and they've got clients for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux. And you can download that directly from their website. Again, links to everything in the video description. So go ahead and download the Amnesia VPN client for your particular setup. Uh, keep in mind, you can always add multiple devices to the same Amnesia VPN server at a later time. Now with the Amnesia app open, you'll want to go back to the email that you received from your VPS provider to get the required IP address, username, and password combinations. Then we're gonna go back to the Amnesia client, click the plus sign at the bottom of the app, and then click self-hosted VPN. Now at this point, you're going to enter the IP and account credentials from your VPS email and click continue. So for a bit of extra security, you can also generate an SSH key on your server and use that to connect your Amnesia VPN client to your server, which is probably the better way to go there. Next, you'll select whether you're just trying to increase your privacy or if you're trying to bypass censorship. Then you'll click the continue button. And now we just wait a few minutes for the client app to connect and configure our VPS to be an Amnesia VPN server. Once that's done, you'll be brought back to the main screen on the client app. And from here, you can do a number of things. For instance, if I click WireGuard, I'll be given the option to install additional VPN protocols. You can select the ones you want and install them one by one with just a couple of clicks and switch between them as you need to. You can also enable or disable split tunneling as needed and can even decide if you want site-based or application-based split tunneling enabled, which I think is kind of a cool thing they've done there. You can also install Amnesia DNS and use their DNS service, or you can set whatever custom DNS servers you want for your setup. 
There are also additional services available in Amnesia, like hosting a WordPress site on the Tor network, and they've also got an SFTP file sharing service available. And I really don't wanna go into talking about installing these things as it's not really the point of this video, but just know that there is that option if you want to take advantage of it. I also do encourage you to enable the VPN kill switch to disable your network connectivity if your VPN connection randomly cuts out. But just know that doing this won't stop your internet connection if you manually shut down your VPN connection. Just wanted to make sure that we were clear on that. And once you've got everything set up the way you want, you can connect to your VPN server, open a browser, and make sure that the internet sees your VPN IP instead of your ISP IP. As long as you are seeing your VPS's IP address, you should be good to go. And if you want, you can also make sure that you don't have any DNS leaks through any number of sites online. From my testing, everything has come back good with no signs of DNS leaks. However, there are, there's one other thing I wanna to add to this. A lot of these different sites that do the DNS leak tests are also VPN providers. So when you go there, they will say you're vulnerable. Um, they'll say there's no DNS leaks or anything else, but they will say you're vulnerable because you're not using their VPN. It's just a weird marketing tactic that they use to try to upsell you to use their service. Uh, as long as it says there's no DNS leaks, you should be good to go. Also keep in mind that you can always go back and reconfigure different settings in your VPN client anytime you need to change your protection or get different protection for whatever you happen to be doing online. Now look, I understand that this isn't going to be the be all end all VPN solution for everyone. You're only gonna get one IP address per Amnesia instance. Your upload and download speeds will be determined by your VPS provider and things like their network traffic speeds and of course the internet traffic in general. But what's nice about Amnesia VPN is that it doesn't log anything. And as long as you trust your VPS provider, you should be in total control of your data. And if you wanted to, you could actually set up a VPN for your friends or family members who might need a little help in that arena. Now, look, I know some of you will have noticed that there is a logging section in the application settings in the app. This is turned off by default and only needs to be turned on if you're having issues with the application and you're looking for some help with troubleshooting. I just wanna put that out there. Logging is an option in there, but it's only meant to be for troubleshooting purposes, not for monitoring your traffic. While some VPNs out there do have unlimited bandwidth and that's great, you will wanna be aware of any bandwidth restrictions that your VPS provider might have on your account. Those will vary by provider, but I did wanna make a point of mentioning it just just so that you're aware that there may be bandwidth restrictions on your VPS. Now look, I know that there are some things we didn't go in depth on in this video. Like we didn't cover every setting on every page of the app, but you can go through those and decide which ones are best for your particular needs. Also, we didn't talk about hardening your VPS, but that is also kind of outside the scope of this video. Now that said, a member of my Discord who goes by Dangster put together a good set of instructions to at the very least get you started. But if that's not your cup of tea, then there are literally millions of tutorials out there that will be able to help you get the right security in place for your needs based on your VPS provider and the OS that you have installed. So this video was intended to introduce you to Amnesia VPN, demonstrate how easy it is to set up and maybe even save you a couple of bucks over the prices of paid VPN services. So if you're interested in checking out Amnesia, be sure to head down to the links in the video description and feel free to give their GitHub repository a star and let them know that you like what they're doing. And if you want a great deal on VPS, be sure to click the affiliate links in the video description to take advantage of Racknerd's 1111 sale that's going on. You'll get a great deal on a low cost VPS and I'll get a couple of bucks for the referral. But with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I wanna thank you guys for spending a few minutes of your day with me here today and I'll talk to you in the next video.